All right. This will be a bit silly because this is a video about how to do this kind of video. But the purpose is to show you how you can bring in multiple audio sources into the same video file and also not only mix them into the same file but also in a, se in a way separating them for post-processing uh, in a video editing tool. So uh, my own use case is to be able to record some guitar performances uh, mixed with talking and also mixed with some background music. Uh, and I, I, my goal is to be able to, in the video editing tool, choose when to mute or not mute the background music. Maybe I want to have the same uh, section of guitar playing with and without background music, for example. Not having to record uh, in, in multiple uh, takes. So one take video recording and being able to uh, post-processing it. Okay, so uh, as I said, three audio sources. I need microphone, that's the first one. I also need uh, background music, that's the, uh, the second one. And finally, the guitar here. Uh, microphone is uh, not so complicated. I just need uh, the voice. I don't need to post processing it in any way. However, the guitar, uh, I really want to flavor with some uh, software uh, guitar effects. And uh, finally, when it comes to background music, that's an internal application, so it's a different in that kind of way. Um, while mic and guitar is, uh, needs to be connected to a physical interface. Okay, enough with that. Uh, I need uh, a bunch of applications for this and uh, let's start looking at this uh, voice meter potato. This is uh, just an excellent tool when it comes to flexible ways of, bring, of uh, bringing multiple audio sources into uh, and connect them to internal applications for recording or output uh, speakers or, or whatever uh, yes so that's the first one uh, the next one i will use and show is um, overload thu which is a software guitar rig basically it's uh, also an excellent tool i think it sounds good and it's also easy to use by the way this is uh, not for free uh, how the first one the the uh, voice meter potato is at least free to try and uh, they encourage you if you they encourage you to actually try it before you buy it uh, and uh, when you can support in any level that fits your level of how much you use it or and how much you want to spend or can spend uh, THU you find on this uh, web page great tool. Next application I will need is uh, OBS and the web page is here OBS project it's an open source it's free. Uh, excellent tool when it comes to bringing in audio sources and video sources and uh, record into a video file. And finally the last step would be uh, editing the video and for that I found this shortcut which is also an open source and free tool by the way is is this open source yes also open source wonderful uh, this video ed editing tool solves exactly what I need to do I can separate audio into different tracks and uh, make some basic uh, processing on that so uh, now we will dig into each and one of these. So the first uh, application we will look closer to is uh, voice meter potato. This is like the hub for connecting audio sources and syncs. The first thing they want to bring your attention to is to select your main audio output uh, A1. 
for me, I will choose Ace to Sapphire. That's my focus right ext external audio device, which also supports ASU, which is the driver kind of framework for uh, providing really low latency, which is crucial when it comes to playing the guitar. You want to minimize, you don't want to experience any latency between stroking a string and hearing the result. Output, you can see that the input slots are adjusted accordingly, uh, connecting inputs from the same hardware device to these slots. So uh, the microphone is on the first input, which is left side here. Uh, the next input would be guitar connected to my second input on the interface. It ends up on the right side on the first one. Uh, I want to change this. So I have, but we will do that very soon. First, I will disable all routings for now. And next step is to look at the virtual inputs. We have mic and guitar, but we also need our uh, music application. And I want to bring it into this first uh, virtual bus. Uh, you need to, the first thing you need to do is to attach your audio source for the desktop in Windows. You do it clicking on the audio icon and then select in the list something called voice meter input. That corresponds to the first virtual bus. AUX input would be the next, uh, the second virtual bus and uh, VIO3 would be the third one. Now I select the input. So this means that any audio from my Windows desktop system will go into this first uh, slot on the virtual input. So I will start Spotify. So far there is nothing, but if I start to play, it should. Yeah, now we can see that the signal from Spotify is picked up on, on, on this uh, slot. I don't hear anything unless I press this. Now I can hear it because A1 is routed to my Sapphire uh, sapphire out output uh, you will soon hear it as well we can pause it for now i need to route each and one of these channels i could route it into the same bus but i want to have them separated so i uh, will route the spotify to b1 i will uh, route my microphone to b2 and guitar to b3 but to be able to do it, I will first um, fix things with the guitar and mic. I want to have a mono signal uh, on the first input for my mic, and I want to have a mono signal for the guitar on, on the on, on the second input. So we fix that in the system settings. Here I will change uh, the number, so I will have input one on both left and right on the first input. I will have my guitar on the second input as a mono. Yes. And I will now route the microphone to B1 and the guitar to B2. And now comes next trick. I want to flavor my guitar, uh, as I said, with the THU application. And uh, it could be done uh, by routing guitar to another virtual input and then uh, connect that virtual bus to uh, as a device in my in my VST uh, effect application. But uh, another, I think, really nice way is to make an insert loop pre-fader insert loop from my second input where the guitar comes in and route it to an application having it flavor the sound and then get back to my fader to my fader and this is very easily done in potato by clicking uh, the insert icon on the corresponding input uh, slot so now 
if there is any application picking up this loop, it will uh, be routed that way. So I will now bring up the THU and to make sure it will be included in this loop, I go to settings, audio settings, and I will select ASU voice meter potato insert virtual ASU. This is the magic device connecting to the insert loops. I also need to make sure that I select the second insert channel as specified in, in the settings in potato. Everything else looks good so we can close that and now we should hear, no you, you can't hear yet, you will hear soon. This is the preparations we need to do. Now since by the way, I should I did wrong. This would be B1, uh, my mic should be B2, and uh, guitar B3. Now they are separated. Okay, uh, let's head into OBS. Here is the platform where we bring in everything and record it. Uh, for now, I have a temporary microphone, uh, just so you could hear me from the beginning of the video. And I also needed to add the webcam and screen so you could follow my, yeah, uh, obviously so you could see what I'm doing. But now we will add our three sources from the voice meter. Let's start with uh, the desktop, desktop, let's call it desktop, mu desktop music. Uh, I will select, this is uh, important that I select the correct device. And in this case it should be voice meter output because that's the first B1. Uh, voice meter aux corresponds to B2 and voice meter via 3 to the B3. So I select voice meter for now. Uh, that is, and we can check immediately that it works if I play Spotify. I think you can hear it. I can't hear it yet because I need to route it also to A1, which is my hardware output. I can now uh, control the level on this slider. Let's keep it in the background. Now I will add my microphone input. Let's call it mic. And uh, this was on B2, so I need to select the voice meter AUX output. I, I think, think you, you should, should hear my uh, voice, voice maybe, maybe twice, twice or something. Or something. So, so now, now I will remove my temporary... temporary. Oh, we, we can, can just, just mute, mute it, by, by the way. way. Yeah, I hope you can hear my uh, mic. The third and last one would be the guitar. which is on the value 3, the third and last bus. Hopefully you can hear it, and if I click A1 on this, I would hear it as well. Yes. Okay, so now we have everything to the table. We have Spotify, mic and guitar. Now we need to make sure that they are separated, separated in the video recording. To do that, we click on Advanced Properties, Advanced Audio Properties, and here we have this matrix. I will deselect everything above first track. So uh, the Spotify uh, or all tracks. All audio sources will go into the first track. And then, th I think that's good because then we will have one audio track including all sources mixed down, hard coded. That's fine. But we, we want to add tracks for this, the individual sources. So I will bring the desktop music to uh, say track two and uh, let take the mic to track 3 and guitar to track 4. Uh, last thing we need to make sure is that we have all uh, 
that, that we actually also store all tracks in the video. Uh, we go to the settings output and the recording tab and here we can see that you can I think the fault is only to store the first tra audio track so you need to click as many tracks as you want to support in my case we have all four and it's pre-selected since this video was being recorded uh, yeah. I can change it while recording so it has to be done before okay so now uh, let's just record some dummy audio in all sources in parallel so we can uh, show how to isolate them later so uh, for convenience I can record just loop some basic guitar <laughs> going on very stupid and uh, messy but uh, you get the idea we want to have three separate audio sources or Let's quit. Uh, now we have what we need. I will now quit this recording and start another one so we can take this first video into the video editing tool. See you soon. Yeah, so here we are again. Uh, now I started the second recording. So now we will open our shortcut. Uh, empty project and we should bring in our video so i go to my explorer and find the correct video file import it into my playlist from there we bring it down to our timeline so now we have our uh, yeah, main video including audio tracks down here uh, now i would like to create uh, additional three audio tracks I can do it by track operations, add audio track. The shortcut is control U, so I will do that twice. So now we have A1, A2 and audio 3. Uh, so to the easiest way I think to, to populate the audio uh, channels is to just drag and drop from our playlist to our timeline into the correct uh, track and make sure they are all perfectly aligned from time zero uh, the next step would be to isolate uh, the correct track so uh, we select uh, the first audio track and we go to properties audio and select track 2 for the next a2 we go and select our uh, track 3 and finally for the last one we select track 4 you can see in the beginning here it's not so interesting because uh, it's no, uh, it all contains that was before we separated the settings in OBS so it's in but in the final part here you can see some different uh, content on the various tracks I will by the way mute uh, audio from the first one which includes everything mixed down in a hard-coded way okay so I will try to identify this part where we have all three sounds uh, here we are very stupid and so now I will isolate the Spotify by muting mic and guitar go back and uh, let's add voice 
Very stupid and uh, messy, but uh, you get the idea. Yes, it's stupid. And finally, I will add the guitar. Very stupid and uh, messy. And of course, I can isolate the guitar, for example. Uh, this is cool, I think. So what we can do more is to add some filters. Uh, let's say that we add audio filter gain. We can in this way control individual levels for each track. So let's say that we want to increase our Spotify this way. We separate water sources or Another thing we can do is to add a mute filter, which will totally uh, remove content for I, uh, for for a period of time. So let's bring in the mute filter on the selected A3. So now the guitar probably is totally gone. Very stupid and uh, if if. You can then go to keyframes and, and in here you can select more exactly where you want the mute to start, set the filter start and set the filter end. And this can easily be adjusted in retrospect. Going back to timeline, we can listen to this section. We should hear the guitar uh, vanish for a few moments. <laughs> Very stupid and uh, messy, but uh, you get, yeah, hopefully you get the idea. Sorry for a bit unstructured uh, presentation. Uh, yeah, this is basically it. Now we can export this video. And uh, it will, of course, then obey all these filters so you can have sections with and without guitar and so on but i don't think i need to uh, show how to export the videos i think uh, i will end this video here and hopefully uh, in spite of my unstructured uh, walkthrough i hope it could give some ideas of what and how you can do things yeah thanks and bye